go to settings and there's a payment gateways. So you find PayPal Express checkout on the list. So by default for a new store, uh, nothing is set up. Uh, the onboarding process, onboarding status will be incomplete. Um, so there are two modes, uh, test mode and live mode. So first let's try test mode. This is for testing your integration with PayPal sandbox before your store going live. Let's go on enable this payment gateway so that the store can uh, use PayPal Express checkout for the transactions. And then let's check test mode and then click on PayPal onboarding. So before entering the email, the first requirement is you have to have access to the developer.paypal.com. So you can sign up for one. Once you sign up uh, in the dashboard, there's a sandbox uh, menu. Under here, you will have options to create a PayPal sandbox account or for your personal or business. And for this demo, I'm just going to pick the one that I already have. So the email ID are auto generated by PayPal. And so does the password. So let's copy the email. And let's go to this pop-up window and pop the email ID in. And notice the region has to match where your sandbox is. So that is uh, in the region of US. So let's go on next and it asks for password. So password is here, it's a system generated password. And then here, and then we click on login. Now in this pop-up, notice here the account ID is still empty, but when we click on go back to test store, the page has been refreshed and the account, the account ID has been populated. If you want to double check, that's the right account. You can go back to here and that's your uh, stored merchant ID. And that is what you needed in order to start the, the purchase transactions. And then you hit on save. Then this payment gateway is saved and the store can start taking transactions uh, for PayPal Express checkout. Now, if you are satisfied with your integration and you want to go live mode, let's uncheck the checkbox for test mode and then click on PayPal onboarding. So notice the account ID will be wiped out because a test mode and live mode are different. And they will ask you uh, if you really want to rerun the onboarding because it will override the existing account ID. So let's go on here. So now to see the link talks to paypal.com. This is the live mode. And in this screen, if you already have an existing live PayPal account, you can use it uh, with the right region. Uh, in this case, I already have one. I'm just gonna try this one and press next login. Then we hit go back to Elastic Path software. And this page will be repopulated with a different account ID. So this is your live merchants uh, account ID for PayPal Express checkout. And when you sit save, everything is safe. Now your store is taking the live transactions uh, for PayPal Express checkout.